today to remove this cherry tree. Pretty big. Just gotta lean towards the house. And the customer wants the main stem milled. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> You're shaking my tree. No way. <laughs> well, you can feel that from your tie-in. Yeah. <laughs> when it gets loaded and unloaded, yeah. it squeezes my nuts because the tree sways. <laughs> Got all the brush off. And now we're just going to be lowering big honking logs. <laughs> Yeah, it looks clean here. Oh, that, that's a big piece. <laughs> it's about 900 pounds. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, that was cool. <laughs> Damn! That peg's got to come down. Got a rope tied to the top of it. It's hard to see there, but we've got a pulley that we've remotely set through the crotch there, down to the base of this tree, and then across the yard, three to one setup at the base of this tree.
Wednesday's Milling Job. This clip is just showing how we were setting up the guide rails on the top of the log. This is really important for the Alaska mill because it copies the guide rails as it cuts. If the rails are straight and flat, you'll get a really good cut. If they're wonky, you'll get a wonky cut. We have the two small pieces of 2x4 on the end to visually make sure that the rails are even. And we use the screws to hold down the rails and to help level the rails as well. Better part of a day milling. These are the boards that uh, we've got out of it. Not too bad, but it's definitely slow going when you're using a chainsaw.